Okay, here we are in the Unreal Editor, ready to import our maps. So I'll start by inputting the color texture. And, okay, wait for that to load up. And I'll create a material for it. Right click, go to material, and double click. And we'll add a text, whoops. Texture sample. Put that into the base color. I need the landscape coordinates. Put that into the UVs. And there's an extremely simple, oh, except for I need to assign the texture. Now I'll click it over here in the browser and assign it. All right, now we can save that. And minimize that. We'll have the material selected. Go into landscape. And select the landscape. Oh, nope, gonna cancel that. Wanna clear out the scene first. I'm going to do a new level. Uh, do an empty level. No need to save it. Now I'll go over and import the landscape. I want to import file. It usually comes in just with create, so you want to click on the radio button. Change it to file. Choose the file. Here's the file from the Natron compositor. Open that up. I need to take note of this number down here in overall resolution. That's the actual XY size of the landscape. That's 4336. I'll write that down. And we'll go ahead and import that. Oh, one more thing. Uh, we need to adjust the scales. If this was to be, oh, let me pick up my notes here. The height file that we got was a one third arc second file, which translates to basically 10 meters as one pixel. So if we leave the XY scale of the landscape at 100, it'll be at one tenth the size of, of actual size. And to get the actual Z value, we take the value from Natron, that was the maximum value, and we divide it by 512, giving 8.06. And for this uh, one-tenth scale landscape that I'm making, I'm going to have the Z scale at 80.6. So I'm going to change this here. to 80.6. And now I'll press on the import button. Now if I wanted this to be full scale, I'd have the x at 1,000, I'd have y at 1,000, and z would be at uh, 806. All right, now I'll push the import button, bring it in. And the landscape is in. It's looking pretty bad. First thing I'll do is I'll uh, go back into place mode and I'll just add a directional light so we can see the structure. We can see that the color is completely wrong. That's why we needed to take note of the size of the landscape. So 
I'm going to go back into the material and the landscape coordinates. I'm going to say change the mapping scale to that 4336. Let's apply that. Let me go ahead and save it. And now our landscape comes in all nice and colored. And that's everything. I think under normal circumstances, you wouldn't bring in a full-size map like this. But it could be used as a reference for, say, if there was maybe a large structure or a landing field, and you could create it in the same location by mapping it out here. And uh, that's it. From start to finish, getting a digital elevation model from the United States Geologic Survey into Unreal. Uh, thanks for watching.